Matthew Morris, MM Wood Studio. Today is Wednesday, August 5th, and it's time for another weekly shop update. Let's get into what's been going on. So the last time, uh, which was a live update, the front had been glued up and I believe the rear had been glued up, but I hadn't glued up the whole chair yet. And um, in order to do that, I wanted to get some other things done. So one of the things I wanted to do was to plug some holes, some ebony, um, get some ebony plugs in some of the mortises I had made. So the mortise back here had a small little hole where I had drilled in and um, that was exposed as well as the guys on the rails. Now, a reason why I wanted to put ebony plugs in these now is because I used epoxy. So here's the epoxy I used. This is system three. It's, it's part A is the resin and part B is the hardener and I use the slow hardener, uh, which when these two are mixed together, that gives you an hour of working time. And the reason I did that was there's a lot going on in this glue up. Uh, not only do you have to glue the rails in, uh, but you got to glue the arms and the panels in and all of this has to come together. It's like one big puzzle piece and it all has to be done right. Now after I finished gluing it together, the next thing I did was to start um, finish sanding and working on the transitions. So the first thing I did, I believe, was to work on the transitions in the arms. The arms are uh, at the back, they are, I don't want to say square because it's not really a square, it's more like a rectangle, but they're um, 90 degree corners roughly around all four sides. And that's how it got glued in. And before that, I had rounded over all of my edges with an eighth inch round over bit in the back, quarter inch in the front. I did a whole bunch of sanding to the arm as well. And then I sanded the rest of the chair. So I did all my roundovers for the back slats, both the sides and the center, and then as well as I um, sanded the panels, and then all of the stretchers and rails as well, because those guys were not sanded before, they were just finished with a plane. And I sanded them, only reason I sanded them was because this guy up here got sanded, and that forced me to sand the rest of everything else, because the last thing I wanted was um, one sanded surface and the rest to be plain surfaces because when you use finish, the finish will um, come out differently. Then once that was finished, it was time to refocus on the rockers. And as you can see, the rockers are here and um, they got a lot of work done to them as well this week. So number one was to um, clean up the surfaces on the rocker to prep it for glue up. These things have been sitting so long that um, it was time to, and there was some squeeze out as well. So um, there it was time to get a scraper and get rid of the squeeze out on the tops and the bottom. And to also take these guys over to the jointer, joint to one edge, and then rip it to width. And with all of that stuff cleaned up, they're ready to have the risers in both the front and the back. And the piece on the back of the rocker the very bottom that allows us to do the carving in the back glued on. So the risers in the front have a, a particular length and the front leg is centered in those and they're back. Um, I believe it's a quarter of an inch from the very front. And But before, before those guys got glued on, I wanted to do um, some rounding over on the edges. And I put out a quick tip this week, which was how to round over a piece that is thinner than the space between the bearing and the profile of your bit. So take a look at that quick tip if you haven't seen it yet. So I got those guys glued on and once they got glued on they got cleaned up because I referenced them to one edge and had them be a little bit wider or uh, yeah, wider than the width of the rocker and then I brought those down with a plane down to the same surface, cleaned up my edges and then headed over to the router table and around it over um, my surfaces, both the top and the bottom. Now there's still a lot of work to do as far as rounding over is concerned on the rocker, especially in the back. But um, here, so far, this was a good start. 
And then after that, it was time to start tackling the carvings in the rockers. Yes, the rockers themselves have carvings. Not just one, not just two, but three on each side. So that's three, six, nine, twelve different relief carvings that I have to make in total for the rockers. So that's what I started on tonight. And I finished the relief carvings for both the front, the um, rear legs, and the back for one side. And um, again, just a quarter inch gouge, chisels, uh, layout lines, and that's all you need to do this. You don't need a ton of specialty carving tools. That's what I use, and that's what you guys can use when you build this Gamble House rocking chair, right? All of you guys are gonna build this chair. I, I wanna see every single one of you build this chair. Because I mean, look at it, it's awesome. Wouldn't you wanna have this chair in your living room? I am just so absolutely stoked. I want this chair in my living room so bad, I can't wait to get it in there. Now, let's talk about adhering the legs to the rockers. To attach the rockers and the legs together, um, I'm going to be using screws and I'm also going to um, be epoxying, I believe, the joint as well. Um, so I want to thank uh, Paul from Canadian Woodworks. Uh, Paul and I were um, instant messaging back and forth a little bit this week and he helped me out with um, ordering the screws that I want to use or that he uses um, for the chair. Now, um, I actually had to order them twice. Um, when he and I were talking the first time I ordered um, these GRK screws, they're really neat because they got the, the screw here, but right back here is this little cutting surface that helps cut um, a, the, sh the width of the shaft below so nothing blows out. Now these are what he uses and once I got the four inch ones that he thought I should get and I took, took a picture of them next to the rocker and I sent it off to him, um, he thought that they were a little bit too long, which I was thinking too. And he gave me a suggestion on, and we kind of talked back and forth, and he had a suggestion on what length I should get. So I ordered another 50 of these guys. It's not the end of the world. And um, the other thing I got to help me work on or get these rockers attached to the front legs is this uh, drill press vise. Believe it or not, I did not have a drill press vise. And uh, the drill press vise is going to be really great because once I draw what will be straight lines um, that I want to drill into the rocker so I have the angle for the rockers. Um, I can then take the rockers, put them into the drill press vise, and I'll show you guys this when I do it. I also released another video at the beginning of this week, which is what are you going to build, or what are you going to start building in your shop this week? And it was a little bit of a promo video. I, you know, I do sell these classes, so I do have to try to sell the classes um, sometimes, right? I can't uh, not try to sell them. So the first two thirds or, or four fifths or so was a promo, kind of like, hey, I'm building this, here's what else we have to offer. But at the end, I asked a question, which was, you know, what are you gonna start building in your shop this week? And I got some great responses. I was hoping for some more. So I'm asking the question again tonight, which is, what are you guys gonna start building in your shop this week or next? Let me know, I'm curious. I wanna know, personally, I'd love for you guys to start building one of my projects, but that's okay if you don't. The whole idea is to get into the shop and just build, 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 build. You're not gonna get better unless you build, 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 and build. So if you're not building my stuff, then at least build your own or plans from a magazine or something. Just get out in the shop and just do some awesome work. So I'm gonna end this episode with um, the traditional ending and then some pictures after this. I'm gonna take the rocker and angle it in some different directions. So as always, please subscribe to the channel, share with all of your friends, cause I mean, this is some cool stuff to watch, I think. Uh, that's just me, um, but this rocking chair is pretty neat. I, I think that everybody in the world should be watching um, this rocking chair get built. But that's just me. Um, so share it with your friends and um, let's now jump into some cool pictures of the rocking chair.